all right so yo welcome back to tales of arc and if you're enjoying the video make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment down below but we're here for some genshin impact chapter three so i'll probably try to push for finish today but i'm not sure depending how long it is so we gotta go see ace i'll hate them with the info you two made it and from the looks on your faces you were successful wow there's so many people from the academia here why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the Academia's control, so naturally the Academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. You bring Al hate them up to date and get gave them a okay. can knowledge. Of... So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. We want to meet the Dendro Archon. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. We should also uh, tell them that, hey, we also met the other god, uh, the other Archons too. So this is not something different that we do. Just so he doesn't think we're crazy or there's some stupid idea or anything. So, yeah. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow, there's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we can learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or how to find your sister? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains King Deshret's power and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refused- So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. <sighs> to that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So? I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. 
Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously close to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Hmm. I mean, there's really no downside to it. We either gain from it or we get nothing, pretty much. But it's not like it's a waste of time, because then we'll have something to go on at least. Thank you. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. Um, oh, hey, Boom. Before you go, we actually bought a knowledge capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? All right, sorry about that. Had to help my brother overseas. He's currently in Egypt or Cairo, Egypt. I need help with uh, his epic. So we can play some Mao Morales. I guess he's getting excited because Spider Man 2 is out. Although, too bad he's never going to be able to play unless he has a PS5 over there. Go out into the wild and to test can knowledge. So I wonder is this swordsman thing really going to help us or is it just for like, you know, lore? Oh, there's a thingy. That I don't. That I probably won't do. All right. This oh. place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Watch him be like, "Oh, this is a fake." Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days, since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. What a great buy. If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles, one before using this knowledge capsule and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. Oh yeah, this is what I wanted to say last time. I, it was on the tip of, tip of my tongue, but I couldn't remember. I feel like the, what, the Asha terminal? Asha, couldn't they just monitor you? Like, if it's anything like the internet, one each terminal or these earpiece thing have a code that they can just track you down, like to silence you or in case you do anything shady. If you're trying to learn too much about the lesser lord, unless the sages don't control it, but the lesser lord does. So I'm pretty curious. Like, is it more than just a information, not information knowledge terminal, or can like other things be done with it too? There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry, I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! Oh, hey, Thum! You must have been one of those guys at the academia who got top grades on everything! I feel like since he's the name character, he probably is the top. Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? It's a kind of like extra credit, extra grade, you know, like 
So it'll look good on his resume, wherever he's gonna go. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Hmm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. Initiate first combat test. Get back in there. Alright. Alright. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. I feel like it's not really going to help us. Open your inventory and use the can knowledge. Activated can. Oh, did he just trigger it for us? So did I just pop it? Oh, and then what? As if I saw a countless sword-wielding figure fighting one moment, and then it's the next. They disappear into their recesses of my memory. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became part of my memory. You mean that it worked? I don't think it's gonna help though. Alright. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. The House of Can something. Check this out. I feel like this one be correct, right? Because when you have to have the same enemy and the same number of them, so that you can tell the difference of what happened. Because the first one was three water. And this one had like four at the beginning, so I feel like it's not really a now, control. I'll start recording data again. Experiment. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting performance was this Dragon Ball Z? Wait, how much? I mean, that's basically zero, pretty much. That was a waste of 100k. Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million mora? This thing isn't worth a tenth of that amount! To be fair, we did warn you. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. That also is true. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is Mora for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. All right, ever so close. Wait until seven, two days from now. We play the waiting game. Seven, two days from now. This would be considered two days, right? No, it's probably like one day. Man, look at Celestia. Doesn't it feel like it's getting closer after every update? All right, so is she back in the same spot, you think? Or do we have to do the whole code thing all over again? Here, over here. Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Oh, you merchant. Can you really I gotta love her character. Like anything at all? Aha. Uh -huh. So it appears.
use the can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite, <sighs> then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I like to buy the info whereabouts of the divine knowledge capsule. Oh. Our new customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary can knowledge. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. You should just tell her I'm rich. She will buy it. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. So it's an auction and site. Not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. As for the information's authenticity, well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. I'll buy you the information. It's just always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ein El Ahmar. Ein El Ahmar? You mean the Aramites who worshipped King Deshrit? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. Well, it looks like we're going to go kick some the ass. has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of King Deshret. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. That does not seem really good. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Thanks for the info, Dory. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. It turns out it ended up in the hands of Ein El Ahmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Hmm, what's this? Is this an elevator? It is. Wow. All right. We got the info you wanted. Really? All right. Let's hear it. It's in the hand of Al Al Ein Al Almar. Ein Al Almar. The rare group that we're about to face. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Oh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. I mean, to be fair, I don't know the, the extent of her vision, but it makes genies, right? Couldn't she just get them to do it? All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ein al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ein El Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date, 3 we'll, o'clock sharp. We'll be there. See you then. So, is it like the end of this quest? Or do we just go right into it? Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. And I'm hungry. I haven't ate anything. So, we're supposed to. 
It's probably right there, right? Damn, I wish I had Mona. Just skate across. But no, I gotta swim. This painful swimming. I also heard people being upset about Fontaine swimming. About how they censor the characters. I'm like, is it really that big of a deal? I don't really understand. I hardly am looking at the characters, but like I, half the time I play these games, I'm looking at what I'm facing, and, like the enemies. Crazy, See, I, I knew he would jump us. To actually show up. Shut the hell up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. You know, for someone to mince my words. that's really Damn against you, the lesser god and the food. greater Get god, him, he seems like he doesn't mind using the internet thing. Easy. Supporting fire. Oh, there's a bubble barrier. I guess they want you to leave. Come on. Get down, bro. Structure. Easy. We get a cutscene. Yay. Uh, academia scum. Is he gonna bomb us? Cause there's no way he just take it down like that. Did you use it? Great. Now we can. Uh -huh. Boss. You think it might control him? Is it a virus? Oh shit! Things are going crazy. I haven't seen a beat down like this. We have to cut his Akasha connection now. Oh my god, we're getting an action cutscene. Like, these are so rare. Like, I meant we're legitimate fighting. Because they usually last for like two, three, four seconds or something, so it isn't much. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, I'll hate them? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away. Cause we haven't I like we haven't seen like long like a decent 30 second or more maybe fight since uh World. the Luke. To uh Oh, as I was saying the the Luke cutscene from like the very beginning what in Tibet just happened it's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind it looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule you mean the divine knowledge capsule did that to him speaking of which Hypatia did mention oh yeah you mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermensoul? But then again, this was also short too. It was like a short burst. Cause it was like, like uh, when are they getting like, I know. What game was it? I know there was a, one of the Hoyo game I played that had a, like a decent cutscene chunk. And it was pretty amazing, honestly. When are we gonna get something like that? Or something like the Deluxe scene again? 
Usually it's just like short bursts. I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. Also, with the internet plug into your head, what could possibly go wrong? Of course he gets a virus and then he goes insane. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? That's exactly why I heard before I armor so. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. Oh wait, is he going to tell us or is he not going to tell us? Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the divine knowledge capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the academia, do you have any idea how we could go? I feel like we should always lead with, hey, I met the other Ar Archons too. That way it would be easier, like for the to explain all the other stuff. Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself. Okay, anyway. so that answered my question. So the sages control the internet. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery. I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival. Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Let's return to Sumeru City. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. So he's not gonna tell us. I guess that's why the titles call ever so close. Now, do I deal with this thing first, or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require? So does he work? No, he... Maybe he does work with the sages? I don't know. I feel like... Like, we have the secret service, which is like the mantra people. And then we have the normal forces, which is like mercenary that they, they hire to... Um... There's an empower, fulfill, fill up their ranks. But then we have Al Haytham, which is like, I wouldn't say the FBI. Maybe he's with a, a vigilante rogue group. Or maybe the trope is like a front for the, a cover for that vigilante group that's trying to bring Lester Lord Kusanali back like to power. But then at that point, wouldn't it be the same as these um, bandit King Desperate people? So clearly he's working with someone higher up. I just don't know if he's a good person or a bad person. Well, if he's a, like an if he's antagonistic to us, basically, because I feel like he helped us because we share a common goal, kind of like when the floods share a common uh come and go with chief but then they backstabbed us in the end and then i rage because dealing with the flood in halo is, is always so damn annoying so lots of questions and then no that's it only more questions i feel like we're questioning a lot but that's always like at the start this is act one so they probably tell us more in so we may act two three as we're amping up to the conclusion but i guess we'll see when we see also why say about like it's so weird that these guys hate greater lord and lesser lord but they're fine with using the internet even though it's made by the two 
by the one Archon. So, kind of makes their like, their plea, no. Ambition, no. Go, no. What they're fighting for seems not worth it, kind of. But then, I guess you can also say, well, it doesn't matter to them. They're using whatever is necessary to uh, get a victory. If they're, wi they're willing to like use enemies' technologies just so they get a chance, a closer chance to reviving their dead god. But yeah, so that's that. Anyways, with this comes the end of Act 1. Next is Act 2, which I'll take a break. Why? Because I don't want to get burned out. I feel like I, I can only handle so much Genshin, especially with the story writing in this game. Especially with Paimon. And how sometimes they feel like, hey, this character just coincidentally is here. And they're coincidentally helping us. And then while we're doing the quest, it's like coincidentally making this character seem so good. Like so cool, so awesome, so beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, awesome fighter, great ability. But I guess they're it's so they can sell the character to you. See, so hey, it'd be like, hey, did you like Raiden and Inazuma? Guess what? You can summon for her right now. Kind of thing. So I guess, I don't know. I'm noticing it more and more. And it's kind of being like, you know, when you play a gotcha, well, this is a gotcha game. When you play other gotcha games, they show like show you previews of new characters coming up, like right in the game when you log in after the login screen. And you're like, come on, why can't I skip this? Why did I watch this? I'm already going to summon for the character or an already decided not to. And they still shove it down your throat. It kind of feels like that sometimes. But this is like less brutal or forcefully, you know, it's kind of like a side jab ish kind of way. But that's me trying to explain it. But yeah, can't wait to try Act 2. But I'm taking a break, so whether it's for that or I'm training up a grinding up a new DPS for Act 2, I guess we'll see if I'm lazy or not. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys, stay safe, and I'll see you next time in whatever game I'm gonna play. Intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen.